Oh boy, I'm gonna get a lot of comments about my shaved face. Anyways, we got some news on the new Hideo Kojima game, Death Stranding, and there's a new teaser that just got released. Not much, but let's get into it, because I'm personally excited for it, and I cannot wait for E3 2019. More right after the intro. Welcome back to News of Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. And today we're going to be talking about Hideo Kojima's upcoming title project, Death Stranding, starring Normus Reedus, Mads Mikkelsen, and uh, various other celebrities in this game. And it's really exciting. We don't know any idea what this game is about. We've seen tons of footage, and yet we have not a single shred of idea of what this game could be possibly about. So... We're going to go ahead and address the teaser trailer that was just given us today uh, about a few hours ago, and we're going to get into it. But first, I'm going to read this article to you, brought to you by GameSpot, and I thought it was pretty interesting. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the link to that article, along with the teaser clip of that trailer, in the description box below to avoid any other strikes and whatnot. So anyways, guys, let's get into it. Hideo Kojima has posted a new teaser video for his mysterious upcoming PS4 game, Death Stranding. Released on Twitter, the video shows the outline of a hand and the words create the rope. Some eerie music plays in the background while flashes of mysterious objects appear as well. A second tweet indicates more information will be provided on May 30th. The teaser is hard to make sense of, which is par for the course of Death Stranding. Check out the video for yourself in the embedded link below, which will be in the description, and let me know what you think of it. Sony now has updated its Twitch channel for a Death Stranding takeover. That also points towards some kind of impending announcement or trailer, though it all remains very vague, just like Hideo Kojima likes to keep it in good old Hideo Kojima fashion. He's very vague with his trailers and his upcoming projects. And even Hideo Kojima himself posted the tweet to the trailer, which, again, will be in the description box below. No event is scheduled for May 30th where this could be revealed, though a new trailer or something of the sort could always be released on its own. Sony's not attending E3 2019, so we were under the impression that Death Stranding and the company's other first-party games would not be receiving any new updates around the time of E3. The company has recently taken to holding Nintendo Direct-style state-of-play events, although nothing has been announced on that front. Death Stranding is Kojima's first new game since his split with Konami. Very little is known about the game, and that appears to be intentional, with Kojima weaving secrets into its new trailers and teasers like the one he released today. The game features a number of celebrities including The Walking Dead's actor Norman Reedus in the lead role, as well as Mads Mikkelsen, Leah Seydoux, Lindsay Wagner, Guillermo del Toro, and Troy Baker. Speaking to Metro, Reedus said he's never seen anything like what Kojima is doing with the game. The concept is so far out into the future, Instead of eliminating everyone around you, it's bringing everyone together, he explained. It's a very positive video game, but scary and depressing at the same time. It's kind of a new movie. I've never seen anything like what we're doing. At the Tribeca Film Festival in April, Kojima talked about how Death Stranding will make you cry. No release date has been set as of yet for Death Stranding. The game was announced for PlayStation 4 and PC, and it'll be released on a console through a partnership between Kojima's new studio, Kojima Productions, and Sony. A recent report said Death Stranding might also release on PS5. So there you have it, folks. That's all the info we have on Death Stranding currently right now. Now, a few things that I want to bring up. This game has been under development for quite a few years that we've known of its existence of the production, if you will. And I think this game was announced around early or around June 2017 or June 2016. I can't recall. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But... You know, this game is obviously taking long because it looks like a huge game. And I'd rather have a production company take its time of making a potentially awesome game than rather than rush it out and giving us a garbage game. <laughs> but knowing Hideo Kojima, you know, the guy likes to take time with his work and I commend him for that. It's awesome to see that people like Hideo taking the time and the care to making sure that we're getting the best experience ever. And I'm glad. Now, as far as the release, I think I'd rather prefer it come out for the 
next generation of consoles, or in this case, the PS5, we'll call it that for now. But I think I'd rather see that game at its optimum performance on a PlayStation 5. Can you imagine how crazy that game's going to look on the next generation of consoles? Like, based on the specs that we received for the next generation of consoles or PlayStation 5, like, it'll be insane. I mean, we can honestly say now that this game will be released towards the end of life of this current generation and will probably be remastered for the PlayStation 5. I mean, either way, I'd be really excited to play on both consoles because making that transition from the PlayStation 4 to the PS5, it, it's, it's a no-brainer. And I'm pretty sure it'll be a much better experience to be playing it on the next generation of consoles or PlayStation 5. So you let me know your thoughts, guys. What are your thoughts about what this game is about? I actually haven't had a clue of what this game is potentially about. All I know is that it looks really exciting, and it's got Norman Reedus in it. Come on. This is Kojima's way of saying we couldn't offer you the Silent Hills game starring Norman Reedus. Remember when PT came out back around 2016? That was the trailer for Silent Hills. So we couldn't offer you that game, but as an apology and as to give you something better, we're giving you this. This weird looking game that you've never seen before. You let me know your thoughts, guys, on what this game could be about. And are you excited for it? And what do you think? Remember, the link of the teaser trailer and the article is in the description box below. I'll leave it there for you guys to click and check it out for yourself because I'm not posting it in this video to avoid any copyright strikes or anything like that. Um, also, one other important detail. I will be streaming E3 live on Tuesday, June 11th. And... I'm not going to be streaming it on this channel, obviously. I'm going to be streaming it on my other channel, which I'll also leave a link to in the description box below. That other channel is Wooden Shield, which is my gaming channel. I only have like about 12 subscribers, by the way. I want to thank you guys for subscribing. But now's the chance to click on the link to that channel and subscribe because I am uploading videos on that channel on a daily. So I think a new video should be out late tonight for Wooden Shield. And the same goes for tomorrow. So I appreciate you guys going ahead and checking out that gaming channel and by clicking the link in the description down below. So anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. That's all I got for you today. And please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you all don't miss anything. As always, I will see you all in the next comic panel.